Do you remember registering for a tournament with Jund, getting your Dark Confidant path to exiled, or your Liliana of the Veil getting countered by Cryptic Command? I do. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 5 modern cards that were once played heavily, but are now almost unplayable. As always, if you like this type of content, then please like, subscribe, and drop a comment as a really support the channel. I'm really trying hard to get good edited content for you guys out right now, so just clicking those few buttons really does support me and keeps me making these videos. And if you'd like to get into Magic Online, check out Meta Traders and use the promo code on screen now for 10% off your first few months. At number 5, we have Path to Exile. With Prismatic Ending, March of the Otherworldly Light, and Solitude being introduced to the format, Path to Exile was quickly changed out of all mid-range and control decks. With Ending being able to exile non-land permanents, it not only trades one for one, but also gets rid of annoying permanents in the form of artifacts, planeswalkers, and enchantments, something Path to Exile could never do. Also, the fact that it does not give opponents a land is huge, which is very relevant right now in the modern format with most spells being one or two mana. With March also doing similar things, you will never see Path to Exile out of the sideboard of a mid-range or control deck, However, we do have some burn decks in the format still playing Path to Exile to tackle big creatures like Omnath in the metagame. You also see decks playing Path to Exile if they don't care about giving the opponent a land. Typically, it'll be out of something like Burn and Hammer Time like I mentioned before. It's unlikely for Path to Exile to return to current control lists as they do have a lot of better options as of now. With cheap, versatile cards being printed over the past few years, Cryptic Command was destined to be cut from control decks across the format, which is why we have it at number 4. While some brews still play Cryptic Command, it is very rare to see the card being cast due to the speed of the format being way too fast for the card's versatility to be worth it. With Archmage's Charm being very powerful and offering modes that Cryptic Command cannot, makes it hard for players to justify to put it into control decks. As Cryptic Command is something control players have cut down slowly over the past two years, it makes it less of a painful truth to see that it is not playable anymore. I do believe that the modern format slows down that people will start putting Cryptic Command into their deck again, but as of now, people are just choosing Archmage's Charm instead. A card once feared out of every Jun deck is now rarely seen by most Jun fanatics. So that's why at number 4, we have Dark Confidant. With so much removal in the format, it has become almost impossible to untap a Dark Confidant, leading many Jun players to move away from the card. Playing a turn 2 Dark Confidant and your opponent untapping, casting Renin 6 and dealing 1 damage to it has never felt worse as the Jun player. With better 2 mana options in the form of Dothri Voidwalker, Croxa, Ren, or even a Dash Ragavan, it is hard to find room for Dark Confidant in current mid-range lists. Maybe if Lurus wasn't banned, we would still see Dark Confidant in the format, but as of now, it goes unseen. At number 2, we have Gurmag Angler. While it was a classic Delve threat, typically out of Death Shadow decks as an extra finisher, it is very unlikely to see this card right now in the modern format. With so many cheap but huge creatures being introduced into the metagame, players have quickly dropped Gurmag Angler for newer and better threats. I'm talking about Murktide Region. It didn't help the angler that Lurus kept it out of Death Shadow decks for a long time, and now with Ledger Shredder, Murktide Region, and Croxa, it goes back into the bulk boxes of modern players' collections. To finish off this list, we have Devoted Druid at number 1. What once was one of the top creatures in the format, creating infinite mana for our collected company fanatics, soon became replaced by Heliod for a short return of Lurus being printed. However, with Lurus now gone, loads of removal in the format and better combos for less mana, many players struggle to register Devoted Druid decks when it previously was tier 1 in the past. Devoted Druid is unlikely to make a return with so many efficient and cheap removal spells, making it extremely hard for creatures to stay on the table, and with Collected Company being extremely expensive compared to what it once was, leads me to believe that it is unlikely for Devoted Druid to ever make a return. Do you agree with all the cards in this list, or do you believe that I missed something out? Then please let me know in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.